Well, the London Palladium is unique. It is the world's most famous theatre for a very good reason. Um, the architecture is unique in that um, what Frank Matcham as the architect did by creating the um, semicircular balconies was create an intimacy with the stage and the auditorium that just does not exist in any other venue of this size. Um, it is the most intimate theatre going through, um, no obstructive views or anything at all. And that's why the performers of the great variety years took to it so well. That's why the Crazy Gang shows were so popular with audiences through the 1930s. It's why stage versions of radio shows in the 1940s worked so well and brought people in. And it's why the musicals that are staged today work so well. Um, because that degree of communication between the audience and the performer on stage um, is so close and so intimate that anybody goes away feeling that they've had the most special theatrical experience. Uh, well, we started the tours in 2010 as part of the centenary celebrations um, and they just proved so popular that we try and keep them going uh, with at least one a month for the public and whatever we can do bespoke. But they get into the auditorium, we get round backstage, under the stage, and we've got lots of ephemera and memorabilia all around the building that we actually can display and talk. And of course we've got some wonderful front of house spaces anyway, the Rococo Cinderella Bar, um, uh, the a variety bar downstairs which has lots of old posters in, and the, the icing from our 100th birthday cake. Um, so they get to see all the way around the building, not only the places that they would normally visit during a performance of their own accord, but um, also the places they wouldn't normally get to. I'm Gareth Parnell and I'm the theatre manager here at the London Palladium. Now Val Parnell was the famous impresario who brought all the American acts over in the middle of the 20th century and really put the Palladium on the map and uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber, uh, who owns this beautiful building, uh, decided to call it the Val Parnell Bar in his honour. Yeah, my name is Linford Leroy Hudson. I'm a housekeeper at the moment. I make sure all the lights work in the building. I make sure the building looks beautiful. I mean, I keep building up to standard, the best way I can. Uh, so we walk, we talk, we try and touch on the social history that led to the Palladium actually ending up here where it did in central London as well. Um, and the social history is sort of really interesting because the audiences were so important to the building from day one just as important as the stars that were being put onto the stage. I showed the bar seat, Josephine Baker, and they showed me their appreciation, you know. Yeah. And the main person who did that most of all is Beth Midler and Laura Love, because they always called, when they came here, they always asked for me, you know. And I also was just a part of spot. This is my specialty. I was offered a job, you know, by Peter King. Peter King was a good teacher, and um, he taught me very well. You know, and, uh, I kind of perfected it in my way, you know. And it's paid off. And once you want to be in show business, you enjoy it, and you have a, you have a good life. And um, the job I got to do is when she finished her song, I got to iris them to a spin spot and fade. You know, and that takes perfection. But it's to feel it, to feel it, and make it where I get it right on the nod, on the bow. You know what I mean? And I perfect that. Television, of course, took the building in to people's front rooms as well with Sunday night at the London Palladium in the 50s. People who'd never been inside the building thought that they actually knew it and took ownership of it because it had been in their front rooms every Sunday. And that's still the same today with the Royal Variety performances that happen here, um, with the various television concerts. We had Robbie Williams last year, um, you know, broadcast live on um, BBC. Uh, it's a very, very special place. What we try and encourage them to do then on the tours is to bring those memories back and share them with other people so that the history of the building keeps going forever. Anybody who pays for their money for a ticket to come and see a show here at the London Palladium will go away with an experience that they'll never forget. This is the best business in the world, show business. The best business in the world. We're the best theatre in London. We put on the best shows 
um, from concerts to long-running, fantastic, big-budget uh, musical theatre productions. Everyone's got a story about the London Palladium. Everyone should come at least once in their lifetime and many more times than that. It's just the best theatre in the world. Here at the Palladium, I have a very charming life.